want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about one of Gail King's supporters, Susan Rice, the former National Security Advisor of the Obama administration, who is basically telling Snoop Dogg in the black community to back off or we are going to come get you. Susan Rice... I have ever seen her speak this way. For the eight years that she was in an Obama administration, she never talked to any Republican the way she has talked to Snoop Dogg. She never said anything to Mitch McConnell. She never said anything negative like this to M McCarthy, the majority leader in California. But she goes after Snoop Dogg. Like, if you keep going after Gail, she's going to get her special crew after Snoop Dogg, Little Boosie, and the black community who have canceled Oprah Winfrey and Gail King. This is the crew that they run with. You see, you got people like Mark Lamont Hill. You got other people basically out here cooning for Gail King after that Kobe Bryant interview, and I'm tired. I'm tired of these boule niggas, and this woman right here, you see her with her husband, her white zaddy. She would never say anything like that to white zaddy, but she'll say it to Snoop Dogg, like he's some nigga on the street. But you gotta understand this, Snoop Dogg don't care about you and that white zaddy. You don't come after nobody with those tone of words unless you gonna try and sick the government on Snoop Dogg and the rest of us. Gail King broke one of the big laws of the black community. Don't go after somebody when they're dead only about two weeks. Don't step on the memories that the families have about Kobe Bryant. When Gail asked that question, she opened up a Pandora's box. Most of his children don't even know about what happened in Colorado, and they probably wouldn't have happened unless Gail King brought up the issue. Now they have to hear not only family members, but kids in school talk about their father in a negative way. And you come to the defense of this buck dancing coup, but we see where you lay your head. You lay your head with white zaddy. See, you gotta understand, Gail, Oprah, Susan Rice, and many of these black women, they love white zaddy. They worship white zaddy. And I'm not picking on black women because there's plenty of black, black women out here who support black men. But for her to come out with words that strong against Snoop Dogg, when you never seen her in office with President Obama ever come out against a white man this strong. Oh, yeah, she says things about President Trump, we all know that. Everybody says something negative about President Trump. But she didn't say anything about those who were trying to destroy the Obama administration for eight years. But she got something to say about a legendary rapper. And she says them in the most vile of terms. Well, she should have said that to Mitch McConnell when he basically said he was going to destroy the Obama administration that he hoped that President Obama would never get reelected. But she sat up there and grinned in front of white zaddy like you see in this damn picture right here. Susan Rice is a complete damn fool. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We're tired of being attacked from all sides as black men. We get attacked when we live it. We get attacked when we dead. There is no blood break for the black man in America. And for her not to chastise Oprah, I mean Oprah Winfrey and Gail for what they have done 
to the black community is something that she has to deal with, but she doesn't. All she wants to deal with is white zaddy. Gail is the enemy of black people. And see, when you get away with something for so long, you believe whatever you do when it comes to destroying the black man that the community will always forgive you because you make $11 million at CBS and because, or because Oprah is a billionaire. See, they're not used to the pushback from the black community. Oprah and Gail said, I can't believe them Negroes will actually actually get angry at what they have done to black men. They are embarrassment to the community. And you never, ever see white women go after certain white men with status the way they go after black men. And I have told you in other videos, you have never seen them go after Les Moonves, who was the head of CBS. You never seen them break their neck to go after Harvey Weinstein, who was the biggest producer in Hollywood. You never seen them go after Charlie Rose or Matt Lauer, who was the king of morning news on NBC. You never seen them go after Roman Polanski, Woody Allen, all those people like Brian Singer, who's over the X-Men. You see how these men get away with the crimes and they get away with the media attention trying to destroy them. But you see how Susan Rice lashed out at Snoop Dogg. See, like I told you, her loyalty lies with that man you see in the picture, White Zaddy. And she also probably feels the same damn way about Kobe Bryant. The way Gail, Oprah, and the rest of them coons feel about Kobe Bryant. Yeah, he was a great athlete, but... But what? The case was dismissed. It should have never been talked about. And she would never have brought this stuff up about if she was standing next to Bill Clinton, which she has done many a time. You could have talked about 50 different cases about Bill Clinton. And Gail would never have asked him that question. Gail would never have talked to Hillary about that question. She has the audacity to threaten Snoop Dogg for standing up for other black men and the black community and Vanessa and the children. How dare you support Gail King for what she has done to Kobe Bryant's memory. I want to thank you for listening to black site i hope you subscribe to this channel smash that like button and share this video